Welcome to Fees. We did a just under four hour train ride in the business class. As you can see, the seats are facing each other and the compartment can close as well as this ample leg room and place for your suitcase and even a mirror. So the beautiful Fees train station is very well, feels very welcoming. And then the old Medina Fees was built in the 9th century already and we are here to explore that wonder. And here we are. So, four hours. What did I say? Four, five hours. I'm even confused now. Um, from Casablanca to here, and I've made it. I'm already feeling more relaxed, more at ease and face. So let's see how the next two days are gonna go. The first welcome drink on my trip, so it's much appreciated. And the foyer or the room I'm waiting in while wow. just before they check me in. Before I mess up the room, so it is actually a so I'm gonna use take that bit. It is a backpackers. So it's my first time in a backpackers. And <laughs> but it's it's even cleaner than the places I've been to so far. So it's gonna be interesting. There's also this culture of people watching, like seats turned outwards towards the street. Um, <laughs> and I'm actually now people watching her from up above. So I'm sitting on the balcony area of one of the restaurants. So the picture won't be that clear, but a lot of restaurants and shops have the chairs and tables like outside and outwards turning. And then as people walk past, you enjoy your dinner or your tea. So this is like cinnamon and probably like some fine sugar on top. It is called a pastilla. Um, so they served it with some condiments like a chili tomati and bread. And inside of here it's going to be chicken. So I am looking forward to it. So this is also Fez's dish that it's known for. Like in Marrakesh it's the tangier. In 
Casa Blanca is the 10th gene, the, the, the gene, and here in face it is the Astia. I hope I'm pronouncing it correctly. As usual, I'll put the names at the bottom. Um, so I don't have my tripod with me, so we're going to do the best we can so you can enjoy this dinner with me. Just imagine that sweet and saltiness working together. I couldn't finish it, not that it's not delicious, it was very delicious. But my appetite is still not where it should be. Uh, and also I think the portions are big. The tangier the other evening I couldn't finish as well. So the portions are definitely meant for two people. Oh and before I forget, <laughs> before the day ends, um, Fez is known as the yellow city and that's why you can see the touch of yellow on me today and once again it refers to the color of the buildings the, and you will see tomorrow the yellow color of most of Fez's buildings and then the taxis is red <laughs> So that's just a little bit of the Medina, of the Fez Medina. I'm doing a full walking tour tomorrow, so join me on that. I just had supper, it's 8 in the evening now and I'm on my way to the Riyadh so the Riyadh is so nice and relaxing it's got a very very relaxing atmosphere about it so I want to hit the showers and just enjoy the Riyadh because it's like I said it's the first day I'm having this calmness calmness over me on this trip so I thought I would be able to get like two strawberries because I only have like five dirham left in my wallet. But look at this. Oh, old bag. Oops. Old bag full of strawberries. And I am definitely going to enjoy this. Outside. Face is actually getting all this Medina. It's actually getting even more beautiful off the dock. Get this pretty old towel. I'm back at the Riyadh. I took a shower, all refreshed, wrinkled, and refreshed. Um, let me show you what it looks like. So, isn't it pretty? The music in the back, this atmosphere. There's some more people sitting up on the balcony. Even like there's some stairs up in a further balcony. For now, I'm alone here. <laughs> That's why I have the courage to do this video. Um, but yes, I'm just going to chill. The host or the door person gave me some, some lemonade and then I got some strawberries earlier. So yes, this is just going to be me for the evening. I know you're not supposed to place pictures. I know you're not supposed to make decisions of pictures. <laughs> but this is literally how I chose, except for that, that and location. But that's how I chose the places I'm staying at. And with this one, 
I definitely didn't go wrong. Um, so it's actually a backpackers. <laughs> I am on this step to have adventures, to go behind my boundaries. And this is my first time ever sleeping in a backpackers. Currently it's only me, it's a four bed, four bed room, a four bed bedroom. And so currently it's just me, I'm not sure if there's more people coming. So I'm here today, tonight and tomorrow night. Um, but if there's more people coming then <laughs> so that's it. And it's a shared shower, so that one is a bit tricky. I am on the first floor and earlier I actually got out of the shower with a shower cap, cap shower cap on my head <laughs> with a shower cap on my head still and then a dude walked past and and I was like oh I forgot I've got the shower cap on and he said no man it just it just shows you feeling at home <laughs> embarrassing for me but yeah seems like that's cool um, but yes I am gonna enjoy my evening. <laughs> this is holiday is actually starting to feel like a holiday now. Um, I'm also the type of planner and the type of traveler that squeezes so much into one day. I believe you should at least do three activities in a day, like one in the morning, one in the evening afternoon and one in the evening um, so yeah so my activity for tonight is literally just relaxing and this music actually pulled me upstairs out of my comfort zone I'll still see if I'll start talking to people or not but I've got strawberries to share to my friends <laughs> so first night in a backpackers Went from me sitting by myself eating strawberries to having strawberry juice and playing cards. Have a good evening guys. See what else I get up to on my travels. Subscribe and come travel with me. Together we will see where our new adventures take us.